It is week two of season seven, and here is the weekly rewind. Hello, it's me, Scorpio, and I'm back with another Overwatch video. We have tons of topics to talk about again, such as the brand new K-pop collab, as well as more infos about the upcoming mid-season patch. So let's get right into it. Let's start things up with the K-pop collab with the very popular group called Le Seraphim. Blizzard released a whole blog post about this upcoming event. So on October 26th, Le Seraphim will release its brand new single. And on November 1st, we will get the in-game event. Yes, you've heard right. We will get a whole new in-game event with this collab, which includes several cosmetics and skins dedicated to the K-pop group, as well as a brand new game mode, which is very interesting. I'm wondering what game mode we will see in this collaboration. And some people might wondering if Overwatch is losing its identity with all those collabs. But I highly disagree and you should really check out my latest video. I talked about in detail about this topic, so go check it out. On Thursday, we also got a new blog post by Aaron Keller himself, where he talked about a lot of stuff. But let's start with the Roadhog rework. We already know that the Roadhog rework is coming to this season. But sadly, he confirmed that it will be delayed till somewhere after the mid-season patch. So we won't get it in the mid-season patch. But he also gave us some insights on what we can expect in this rework. So his primary fire is going to be reworked. There are also going to be some changes to take a breather. And he is also receiving, just like Sombra, a brand new ability. So this sounds very, very interesting and I can't wait to play him. Since Roadhog is in a very bad state right now and almost nobody is playing him. In the same blog post he also talked about the upcoming support nerfs. Yes, supports are finally getting nerfed since they have been very strong in this season and the latest one. He didn't talk in detail what they will change but they said they are going to change some bits so supports are not that strong anymore. But I really hope they are not getting the same treatment as tanks where... They just nerfed them to the ground and nobody plays them anymore. I really hope they find the perfect middle ground of those nerfs. And the next thing we are going to talk about is the competitive 2.0. They confirmed that they will be talking about the new competitive system on BlizzCom. So they didn't give much more info about it. So we will have to wait till this event. And we're not done with the blog post yet. Since they also talked about the bell pass and shop getting a change. But more infos on that we will probably get early next year. So we will have to wait a little longer. It's probably because of the acquisition between Microsoft and Activision Blizzard. So yeah, the game is going to change. We just have to wait a little longer. Now let's move on to the next topic, which is some merchandise Blizzard revealed. And of course, we're getting a Murphy plush. This one looks really cute. And we also get a Kitsune plush. Very interesting concept for all the people that main Kiriko. It's probably the best thing to buy. We get a new Tracer statue as well as some t-shirts and hoodies as well as a new backpack and yes in the last segment i usually talk about the shop refresh but surprisingly we didn't get any new skins this week the shop is looking still the same and it's going to refresh on next tuesday so we will have to wait until then and yeah that's already it with the video i really hope you guys enjoyed and um, make sure to subscribe because i make all watch content all the time and also thanks to all my patreons for supporting me and we will see us in the next video bye bye